23! You're looking at a person who has to be a born leader in so many ways. What's up with that, baby? Oh, there's a mental toughness to play under any circumstance. The quarterback, you want to be the guy. You're not there to be on a winning team. You're there to win the game for your team. Franco, get out of the throw. You gotta be able to rally your guys. They have to know that you're gonna get it done. You have to be strong spiritually, you have to be strong physically, because everybody's watching you. Give me the quarterback, I want the quarterback. And that great quarterback's gonna win the game for you. You know, you might be down by two touchdowns with a minute to go. You still have to make those guys in the huddle believe. The quarterback's a guy, everyone talks about leadership, but leadership is making play time and time again. From just outside of Hollywood, it's the 989 Sports NFL Quarterback Challenge. Our receivers for the final event are the Rams' Isaac Bruce, Tampa Bay's Keenan McCardell, the Raiders' big play threat Jerry Porter, and Denver's Mr. Dependable Rod Smith. And our alumni, Bubby Brister, Hall of Famer Jim Kelly, and future Hall of Fame member Warren Moon join my teammate, the Boom, Boomer Esiason. When we come back, our seven signal callers square off in our first of Southwest Airlines speed and mobility. Boomer, why don't you diagram this one for All right, Gus, this event tests our quarterback's ability to move quickly and throw on the run. Now, they have to sprint through the course in the fastest possible time, and then either bonuses or penalties are added based on the accuracy of their throws. And as you can see, Jeff Blake's getting ready. And let me tell you that this year, Boomer has the ability to talk directly to our competitors. What a distraction. All right, Jeff. You ready to go here I'm now? I'm ready to go, baby. Kind of look a little weird in red. It's all right. Kind of, you know, I got this, this nice, pretty skin here to go with it. Kind of blends in. All right, let's see what you got here, all right? <laughs> all right, all right. Show me something. OK. So Jeff Blake up first. <laughs> Take a look. He does look a little funny in red. You know, he's actually following me in the Bermuda Triangle, playing for the Bengals, the Jets, and now the Cardinals. Throwing on the run, Jeff Blake. Nice throw. Nice throw there, Jeff. Not bad, huh? Hello, oh, dude. Right? Yeah, but you look like you still got some legs. Hey, I still I keep that a secret now. I don't want people to know that right now. All right, well, they'll, they'll know it in the NFC West, I can guarantee you. Tom is not the most fleet of foot, as you can see, as he kind of lumbers through the course. But one thing that he does about as well as anybody in football is throw the ball with great accuracy, even though he didn't hit the middle of the target. Got a little bit of the red, though. Because <laughs> he's pointing. <laughs> so how do you feel, Tom? All right? Winded. Yeah, a little bit winded. You haven't been working out or something? What's going on? Nah, should have got that bullseye. I got to bring up a little bit. You know, Mark, I've always wanted to ask you. Ask me. How come number eight as opposed to number seven? That's a good question. I mean, are you a Steve Young fan or something, or what? No, actually, I'm a bigger Boomer fan than, than you Steve are. Young fan. Did Absolutely. you hear that, Gus? Oh, please, Mark, you're killing us, Hill. Well, he knows I'm doing the show That's right exactly now. That's right. right. <laughs> He's saying the right thing. I hope, you're, I hope you're scoring these points, too. It's a wily vet, isn't it? Mark Brunel from the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> kind of feel sorry a little bit for Mark. You know, he's all that Jacksonville has ever known at quarterback, and now he's got to deal with young and up-and-coming Byron Leftwich. Seventh overall pick, but wow, what a throw. A bullseye for Mark Brunel. Huh? A little bit. Oh. Up next, Mark Bolger, and here's a young man out of West Virginia that uh, has really impressed a lot of people in the NFL. Yeah, he sure has. Hey, Mark, uh, do you think Kurt Warner's watching right now? <laughs> <laughs> Too close to training camp for that stuff. <laughs> but it's your job to unseat him, though, isn't it? That's my job, but I don't know if Kurt will let me. <laughs> All right, good. Good luck now. Thanks, Boomer. And what a year he had last year. You know, the, the, the Rams got off to such an awful start, and then he came in and reignited that offense, and everybody responded to him. What an accurate pass to this young man out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, not very fleet of foot as well. It's kind of like Tom Brady, but again, these guys are all about accuracy. And certainly right there, he doesn't have any. <laughs> Good job, Morgan. Okay, you got the jitters out now? Yeah, the jitters are out. I hit the target at least, but I didn't miss it completely. All right, now you won this overall event last year, so you're kind of a, an experienced vet at this. What's the key to this particular uh, event here? Well, definitely, I think what it comes down to is being as close to the target at the end, but it's just one of those things, got to move quick. Hopefully I don't fumble going through the bags. Nah, you won't fumble. Good luck, man. <laughs> Show us how to get it done. Talking about elusive quarterback. Well, this is, uh, that's his game. He's getting away from uh, potential tacklers and making big plays. And 
Oh, there he slips. So usually very light on his feet. Garcia throwing. When he hits some of the white, Jeff Garcia has to be disappointed with his first attempt. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you. You talk about a guy with some pressure on him. Remember, Mike Holmgren got him from Green Bay for a first-round draft choice. So a lot of pressure on this guy's shoulders. Out of Boston College, and he throws a nice ball. Matt Hasselback with the best time so far. Probably took too many steps after that. Man. Well, here he is, the Super Bowl champion. What's up, Boom? How you doing, man? How great is it that you are the Super Bowl champion quarterback? It's unbelievable. I wish it could happen to everybody. It's uh, it's an unbelievable feeling, and I only select few that ever make it, and uh, makes you want to repeat again. Okay, man. Show us All what right. you got, Opie. Thanks, Bo. <laughs> Thought Opie. I agree that one. Brad Johnson. One of the great, one of the great guys great in the last league. Great name. And, great and last what, name. Yeah, well, okay. Well, he wears it better than you do. <laughs> Look at that uniform with that Johnson on the back. Boy, that's pretty special. It is. Well, yeah. you could say he's not the most nimble the of players, spot. but a smart player, and that's why John Gruden loves him. With a great arm. All right, not bad. Very nice throw. Brad Johnson inches away from the bullseye. Hey, some oxygen around here. Yeah, you do need a little oxygen, don't you? Not yeah. bad, though. Nice throw. Good Thanks, and accurate. Bro. Appreciate it. So a look at all the scores in the Southwest Airlines speed and mobility shows that Matt Hasselback and Mark Brunel finished one and two and will square off in the runoff. All right, Brunel will go first. Remember, it's the addition of their cumulative times that wins the event and the $20,000 prize. <laughs> Here's Mark Brunel. He is not the slow. He almost got knocked over by the bags around Lawrence Taylor. And the throw on the run. Bang. Oh, okay. He hits the orange. All Two right. great throws by Mark Brunel. Yeah, not a bad throw there, Mark. You put a little pressure on the young guy, didn't you? Well, we'll see. His cumulative hey, time, 19.11 hey, seconds. Yeah, Hasselback thanks, needs to thanks. get a 9.51 to win the event. One to win. Let's give him a lot of love right now. Okay, Matt. You know what you need to win, huh? 951, that's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. Good luck. Little pressure <laughs> you're putting well, on the He's a young guy. guy. I want to oh rub it goodness. in a little bit. <laughs> Here comes Matt Hasselbeck. What he needs right now, Gus, is he's going to need a strike. He's got to throw it at least into the red to get that bonus to give him the victory. And he does. Oh, this should be close. It's going to be close. 9.52, oh, and with the deduction, Matt Hasselbeck should be your winner. Rod Smith thinks he's the winner. And he is the winner. And you can see right here, again, accuracy so important of playing quarterback. And that's why Matt Hasselback wins. I think I pulled my hammy. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I think I pulled my <laughs> No, really. No. <laughs> Job, Matt. Nice work, buddy. Hey, dude, that's <laughs> You were cruising. I'm like, oh, no way. So first-time competitor Matt Hasselback wins the Southwest Airlines Speed and Mobility and takes the early lead in the quarterback challenge. Accuracy drill. My partner Boomer Esiason is down on the field both announcing and participating in this one and he is currently shaking off a few of the many layers of rust on that left arm of his. I'm scared to stop throwing my arm might stiffen up. <laughs> I, I tell you this field is unbelievable Gus. Mm. This is great. You know I played on the rock in Cincinnati and That's at the right. Meadowlands. Right. Oh my god. Bobby Brister is first. Yeah, he doesn't look right in a Bronco jersey, Gus. I mean, he should be wearing a Steeler jersey. The only reason he's wearing that Bronco jersey, now he's never going to reach this. He'll never reach it. Never. The only reason he's wearing a Bronco jersey is because he wants the, you know, Super Bowl guy. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, Delway won that Super Bowl. Oh, Terrell. Oh, oh, oh there's that, a 10. That's a bullseye. Right. Oh, okay. Now, you got to go. You got to hurry up. You got to throw it faster than that. And here's the last one. He's got to come around these cones. Now listen, notice that he's right-handed, as are Moon and Kelly, and I got to do it left-handed. Can he reach it? Yes! yes he does. Good shot. Bobby Brister! Good shot, Bobby. Good shot, Bob! Old man still got it, Bob! Yes, the old man does have it. 28 points. Easy, Gus. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, here you go. That's a crossing pattern to the tight end, and then right in the middle there, then of course he's got to throw it down the field, and, and he makes a big throw right at the end. I want to drive one of the golf carts. <laughs> and Rod I'm wants to drive a, slam a, on a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slam on the brakes is what he wants to do. The great Jim Kelly. Well, here we go. You know, one of the great all-time guys in the NFL. 
And look, he can still throw the ball pretty well. He has that nice overhand delivery. He throws a little duck right there. But he's no way he's reaching this thing. Oh, yeah, he actually did reach it. Oh, come on, Jim, wake up. you got to keep throwing. Hurry up, hurry up, throw it. Not bad. Pretty good. See, he waited too long, and these guys are waiting too long. So there's one thing that I'm learning is that you got to move quickly through this. Here's Jim. He still's got some. Does he have the arm? Feet. Andre Reed deep for the touchdown. Oh, damn, oh. oh. pull. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I better keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Another look at Jim's final throw, and that pass was meant for a much slower receiver, and the driver paid the price for that late throw. Good is done. That's all I do. Good night, guys. I'm going to I'm going to the pool. <laughs> you know, some of us older guys out here, those drivers have to be do some hazard pay cuss. Yeah, don't I get a points for hitting the driver in the back of the head? <laughs> That's at least a bonus right there. He's driving too fast. Next up, Warren Moon, one of the all-time leading passers in NFL history, and he elects to wear Kansas City Chiefs shirts. Oh, I think about him as a Houston Oiler, Gus, and, and he used to throw that run-and-shoot offense that Jerry Glanville and Kevin Gilbride ran in there. And we used to have some wars against him back in the old AFC Central. And what is he, 100 years old? How old is he? I <laughs> he mean, he's like in, he's 22. I mean, he's in great shape, can still throw the football. And he hits a driver as well. <laughs> Now the deep ball. That was almost a curve ball. Almost. 24 points for Warren Moon. Eternally young. We get bonuses for hitting the driver. <laughs> we did hit the driver. <laughs> Listen, you know, you referees, better to be seen than heard, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. Absolutely. As usual, oh, Boomer by. hamming it up, schmoozing the official with his flag proudly blowing overhead. Bengals legend, number seven, is ready to fire at the targets. Give us a little play-by-play -play right, as you go through it. All right, three, two. All right, look, here I go. I'm gonna, I got to get rid of this ball quickly, though. Not bad. That's my favorite. Oh! Boomer and Science oh, no. off the mark. Whoa, I got to go over here now. Whoa! Senior moment. <laughs> Did I hit the driver? You almost knocked All right, him here out. I come. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. How much do I need? 18. alumni competition. Welcome back to the 989 Sports Quarterback Challenge. That is Chargers All-Pro Marcellus Wiley entertaining the crowd as Jeff Garcia steps up man. first in the Castrol Syntec Accuracy event. Jeff, did you did you watch me do it, Jeff? I watched you. You showed how it was done right there. 38 points. Man, me and, me and Gus is saying that nobody can pass 38 points. I already have enough pressure on myself just to get back <laughs> in this thing. Tom Brady looking on. Here's Jeff Garcia. You know what happens, Gus, here is that you don't get to that third ball quick enough, and this this uh, particular target is so far away from you, it's hard to hit it. Look at this, he's missing everything. <laughs> I also think the cart drivers start to speed up a little bit. Maybe they have some action or something. Well, I'm not telling you about it. Tell anybody anything. <laughs> You can see right there, Jeff Garcia did not have a very good event. Man. Hey, Jeff, the bottom line is you need somebody running after you, isn't it? That might help me a little bit. Jeez. Put your four iron out. Cardell, no, Rod Smith. No, no, it's definitely no pitching wedge. There's a pitching wedge from no, this sandwich right there. There's that four iron over the trap you're trying to hit. You're trying, trying, to to green, trying to get to the green in two. Two club win today. Up next is Mark Bulger. Okay, coach, how are we doing out there, all right? Looks like you're stretching your arm. What do you do? Every, all you young guys do what you're doing right there. You're stretching. What is that? Uh, I think it just looks like we're doing something. So, <laughs> you know, you're standing around doing nothing. You just look like you're doing something, so it's working. All right, now this is a chance to redeem yourself, uh, right? Can't do much worse than last event, no, can I? No, I mean, you've calmed down a little bit, right? Yeah. I will tell you that that first target goes quick. 
So get the balls and get them going. Don't sit there and you know and watch yourself complete passes. Just listen for it, right? Just listen, just go, man. Just go 100 miles an hour. You don't think you're going to watch, end up watching your throw, and then next thing you know, especially when you get to the second, if you if you haven't hit any yet, then you start watching. <laughs> Here's Mark Bolger, a very accurate passer. You got to wonder if Kurt Warner is sitting at home watching this right no, now. No, you know? he is not. What a battle that's going to be in training here. No, yeah, I think he cares. A lot of pressure on Kurt Warner in St. Louis. This kid is right That's behind him on his heels. Right That's West Virginia football right there. Let's go, Mike Bolger! The deep ball. Oh, oh, the these young guys can't even hit the deep ball. We got a deep cross coming. As our receivers that, discuss that, their favorite that patterns, we yeah. take a look at All how tough it hit. is to find that Over. open man. What are you saying? Get there. Well, yeah, he was wide open right away, but you went through here to him. I didn't even think you were ever going to get to him. Well, you know, first of all, if you listen to receivers, they're open 24-7. Pete, were you open on that last one? Yeah. I was open. Open? Yeah. 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 Big time. It's not hard to get open. I'm always up. Man, I'm open right now. Brad! They don't understand what the quarterback is dealing with. You know, you're looking between certain defenders, and you're looking to throw to certain spots to try to get a guy open with world-class athletes guarding them. It'd be tough doing that if you didn't have a pass rush. Be the first one to say the cornerbacks play the best athletes on the field and uh, makes the receiver's job that much tougher. You got to stick and move, you got to dodge, you got to weave in and out, and uh, you got big linebackers trying to knock you out, you got big safeties trying to knock you out. You got to be able to shift gears, weave in and out, so it's kind of like the optical court. Defenses, they disguise things very well in the zones. If the quarterback doesn't catch you in the, the perfect area right now, you don't get any more open. Your window closes. What I'm going to do is come back and run Point Alamo 93, give him the same look, except now it's zone dog. It's 93 zone dog coverage. It is so important to be mentally and physically sharp because those windows of opportunity are so small. Perfectly thrown, perfectly caught. The effective passing teams are the ones that, that have the timing down. They anticipate when the receiver is going to get open. And once he is open, the ball's already there. The guy runs his route, he turns and he's open, and then you throw it, chances are it's not going to work. Trying to throw it to a spot where they're going to, and you just hope that they can get there. But the defensive backs these days are so fast. Half the time, you know, they know where you're going to, and, and they have more speed than the receivers, so it just makes it that much more difficult. The game is so fast, and when you see teams like, you know, Baltimore and Tampa Bay the last few years with their defenses, you know, I think the quarterback that usually has the success is the one that is able to not only handle the pressure, but slow the whole game down. The more you do it, the more you play quarterback, the better you become, and the more accustomed you get to throwing just when the guy's open. This is a game of inches, you know, little things uh, make the difference between big plays and incompletions. Now firing the ball toward the end zone, a leaping play! Brad Johnson certainly found plenty of open targets in the last Super Bowl, and he's up next. I expect a lot of red from Brad, a lot of bullseyes. Red on red, a lot of it. So get ready, world champions, watch. Brad Johnson. And how happy is Keenan McCardell <laughs> to have left Jacksonville to have the opportunity to win a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay? You know he's pulling for his quarterback here. Now look, see how quickly he threw the ball. He almost hit the, uh, the driver there, but he was smart. He got rid of the ball quickly, throwing a little high ball. There you go. There's a, a bullseye. Almost another one. Now the deep pass for Brad Johnson. Oh, 32 points for Johnson. Right, right. Up, Brad? Brad, very accurate in those intermediate passes. Now Jeff Blake played in Baltimore last year, heading to Arizona this season. So he's been well traveled over the last few years. New Orleans, Baltimore, Cincinnati, the New York Jets, and now Arizona. Bullseye. He tries to knock the target over. Very strong arm. One of the best deep ball throwers in the league. See how accurate he will be here. Oh, oh. Nice spiral. 
Okay, you got the strongest arm here. You know that, right? <laughs> I know that. <laughs> hey, what did I tell you? Touch, touch, touch. Make him catch it. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Okay, bud. <laughs> Jeff Blake falls into last place so far in the accuracy <laughs> event. Tom Brady, rising star in the NFL. His first attempt. Not very nice. But I, you know, I'll tell you one thing. This guy had some pretty big shoes to fill in replacing Drew Bledsoe. And not only did he do it well, I mean, he led his team to the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl MVP in Super Bowl 36. And has really established himself as one of the young top quarterbacks in the NFL. He's going deep. so far. Now the deep ball. Brady. How do you throw that deep ball? Got to hit it. <laughs> and you throw, you just throw it there and just let it hit the target. I don't know what's going on. Got to lead him a little bit or what do you do? God dang it. Nobody well, can hit it. You know what? I think you're at 40, so you're in second place right now. Yeah, I needed that. I had that long one, too. You know, but you didn't have to throw it there to get the lead. Man, if the receiver's running downfield wide open as long as he can, that's where I'm putting it. Better hit him next time then, all right? I know. That was, that was a bad throw. <laughs> hey, uh, have you been paying attention? You've been back there playing PlayStation. Boomer's cocky because he won. <laughs> <laughs> He's hot. You're exactly right. You're hot. <laughs> you I dare it. you to beat 38 right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, again. Mark Brunel, first lefty. Come on, you got to hurry up, see? This thing's going to be so far gone. That's six. And here we are outside the numbers. Watch. <sighs> you got to do better. Come on. <laughs> Not real good right now. That a boy. There you go. Got to hit the deep one, bud. Brunel going deep. Oh. What I get? Four? So a disappointing effort for Mark Brunel. That's of just 20 That's points. Good. That's good. Bubba, you 49 years old. Act like you're hey, five. <laughs> Seattle's Matt Hasselbeck, who won the first event, will be our final competitor and the only one who can beat Mark Bolger in his 48-point performance as Mark watches on. This one's moving. Got Just so you know, Trent Dilfer is watching. I called him. He won this one, too. I know he did. Three, two. <laughs> ah, bad throw. Oh, man. Please hit a target here. Oh, not good. Here we go. This is getting bad. Hey, Boomer, I think I need Gotta the, go for the deep one, bro. I need the deep one, buddy. You do. <laughs> oh. All right. Nice try. Don't worry about it. Trent Dilfer's at home saying at least he didn't take my job in this area. So Mark Bolger wins the accuracy event here at the 989 Sports Quarterback Challenge. 48 points. You know what, Boomer? You would have been in the top two, top three. Uh, I think I would have been. With your 38. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> oh Just as long as they're not asking me to run, I'm okay. We're going to be hearing about this for a long time. <laughs> you know, I want to see, see that show up on no, NFL today. That's no, that's not, not showing up. Show up no, on NFL. Of course up. not. And here's a look at the final results of the Castro Syntec Accuracy event with Mark Bolger outdueling Tom Brady for the title. And those two guys are tied atop the standings for the overall lead after two events. Welcome back to Santa Monica as Chargers All-Pro defensive end Marcellus Wiley works the DJ booth. We get ready for our first event of the day, the FedEx Long Distance Throw. And this season, FedEx Express and FedEx Ground will be honoring the NFL's top running backs and quarterbacks. Be sure to log on to NFL.com, where each week you can vote for the league's top back and quarterback performances. Jeff Blake up first. Okay, Jeff. How we doing, bud? Doing good, Boomer. Are we going to see the moon ball? We're going to see the moon ball out in the open sky. Win, though. Will play a factor. It really does, and Jeff does throw a high ball. For those of you who remember, one of the best deep ball throwers in the league in the 90s, the Carl Pickens. Look at how high this goes. Not much of a spiral, and and it goes out of bounds. He has to land the ball in between the hash man. marks. Man, gotta be in the hash marks, man. I know it. It was a low flying helicopter he hit, and two kites, three <laughs> birds, and a partridge in a pear tree. He <laughs> got them all, and he still went 75 yards. You got to keep it in between the hashes. Boy, I was away on the left side. And I, threw, I aimed it down at the left hash. And it still went way over there. 
Here comes Jeff Garcia. I think I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> not known as a deep ball thrower. No, he's not. And you know, it's not about arm strength. Okay, Jeff. I don't know, Boomer. Hey, the back is stiff. <laughs> you know what? The amazing thing is the wind is in your face, so the I key know. here is to throw a nice spiral to cut the wind, isn't it? That would help. But you're not known as a long ball thrower, right? Oh, I've always been knocked for not having the strong arm. But it doesn't matter, man, because you make it happen anyway. That's right. It's, it's all about making plays. I do enough of that. Good luck. Jeff Garcia. <laughs> Again, out of bounds, or right on the line. So they're going to mark him inbounds. This will be 53 yards. Not great. What do you think? Little wind left to right should be good cutting your ball. You should land right in the middle, right? Think so? I, I should. Well, yeah. I mean, this is a wind that helps lefties, I think. Okay, good. I, can, I, might be, I might need it right now. Just think of a post pattern right down the middle. All right. Versus quarter, quarter, half coverage, all right? There you go. Here's Mark Brunel. <laughs> nice spiral. Will it stay in bounds? No. No. no it's about 60 yards, though. Accuracy. Accuracy. Well, you get the, you get a chance to do it again, so. Yeah, boy. OB. So from one veteran to another, here's Brad Johnson. Big, oh, strong arm quarterback. Where's the wind at? You got a windometer out here? It's, it's, the wind is left to right, so it's cutting a little bit. All right, let's see what we can do. You better just land it in bounds, because only one guy in bounds so far. Brad Johnson. Throwing a key shot, Johnson, down the middle. And that one looks what like is going it on will out of bounds. go out of bounds. So the win claims another victim is Brad Johnson's toss sails wide. He landed out of the wind, took me, took me. So here's Matt Hasselback, who's, I think he's wearing Tom Brady's throwing glove. You got a good grip with that? Not really, maybe, yeah, yeah, I got a good grip. Jim McMahon, he was the first. Let's see what you got here, bud. Matt Hasselback, his first toss. Look like he puts too much effort into it, but right down the middle, so like automatically the puts him in second. You're going to tell me it's the glove now, no, right? No, it's not the glove. I just don't, I get another throw, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, sure. So Jeff Garcia's toss of 53 yards is still the throw to beat. But up next, Tom Brady. Okay, Mr. Brady, here we go. I like the way that you talked Hasselback into using the like glove. That, huh? Yeah, so you took him out of the competition. All right. You need 53 yards to tie Jeff Garcia, and it's got to land in between the numbers. I think we could do that. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, oh this looks that's good. a beautiful throw. Wow. All right, Tom Brady firing it right down the middle of the field. Very and he nice will be the leader. That ball had its head a tailwind on it. I didn't think it was going to land. One of the reasons this throw is so good is because it's a perfect spiral, cutting the wind. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. And look, it lands right in the middle of the field. Tom Brady, what a great throw. 62 yards. Mark Bolger up next. The key is to throw a spiral with this wind. Wind is left to right. You know, you're playing a dome. It's all plastic know, over there. We don't usually do this. It's outside stuff. West Virginia, think back to those days. Co-leader after mm -hmm. the first day, Bolger's first throw. <sighs> nice throw. You know, they're not used to throwing the ball real deep in, uh, in St. Louis. Just throw it to Marshall Falk or Isaac Bruce. Nice throw. You're going to get another chance. The key is to stay in, right? Oh, that's all 50. That's all I wanted. Okay. <laughs> 54 yards. Welcome back to the 989 Sports NFL Quarterback Challenge. Here are the standings after one throw. In the long distance and the early favorite in this event, Jeff Blake is ready for his second chance. Can I keep it in bounds? Okay, Mr. Blake, are you ready? Can I, can I keep it in bounds? You got to keep it in bounds. You got the arm, just keep it in bounds. And I told you, you were the odds on favorite for this particular event. It's a $20,000 throw, Jeff. That's not a lot, is it? <laughs> <laughs> See you on Rodeo Drive, bud. <laughs> Here's Jeff Blake's second throw of the day. The favorite in this competition. Oh, will it stay in is the question. It does. Jeff Blake. All right, that was much better. But he did not pass Tom Brady. You know, the reason it didn't uh, pass Tom Brady is because it was fluttering in the wind. And Jeff usually throws one of the best spirals in football. 
Now Jeff Garcia. 53 yards on his first attempt. Gets that one high in the air. Better. He's close to the 60-yard mark. No, 55 and a half. That's better than his first one. A little bit better throw. No, it's better to throw, but hey, look. A little look, bit better. At least you hit two inbounds, right? I was accurate when I should have been accurate in another event, though. Right, exactly. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Now, Mark. Yeah. You and Brad Johnson are the only two left without eligible throws. So if you don't land it in bounds, you get zero points for this event. No chance, huh? And it's going to be important that you land it in bounds. You've got to get points. That's just an old guy telling another old guy. Because hey. I'm not telling anybody else, all right? Here's Mark Brunel straight down the field. This one will stay in. All right. And it's a nice chuck. Good throw there. Mark Brunel. Whoa. Very nice, Mark. He put some juice on that one. Inbounds. You got a little angry there, huh? Put a little mojo on that one, didn't you? Brant Johnson's first throw out of bounds. Here's the second. Well, at least this time inbounds. Now you heard me talking. You already heard me talking to Mark Brunel. I'm trying about to keep the points. You got to get the points. That's Playing right. For the long haul. You got to stay close. That's exactly right. He's got a Super Bowl ring. That's more important. That's all that oh, matters. That's exactly right. 58. I'll take it. I will take it. That hurt me. Hurt. Brings up Matt Hasselbeck, who is currently in last place. First throw, 51 yards, and he's taken off the glove. The gloved one. That's right. He needs to take the glove off. Tom Brady got him. Good thing he took the glove off. Yeah. There we go. Better throw. Yeah. All right, that's a better throw. <laughs> Good work, bud. Not a bad throw that time. 57 yards. And again, it's all about getting the points. Tom Brady, our leader thus far. His first throw, 62 yards. Into the win. Into the win. You got to keep saying that. Here he goes. The second throw for Brady. That one a little wobbly. Oh. But it's got some distance on it. Tom Brady showing that he has a gun. Oh, too low. Just short of your last throw, but consistent nonetheless. Yeah, a little low. Put okay. a little more air on that. Now Mark Bolger. Steps up for his second throw, his first 54 yards. There's no way he gets this done. Too much wind out here. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> 55, though, he improved by a yard. Right, and again, you hear him saying it's about the points. He'll take the points, and there is Tom Brady. He wins the FedEx long-distance throw. And the final results, Jeff Blake second, along with Mark Brunel. And with the win, Tom Brady now jumps into first place overall. Mark Bolger second. However, the final event is coming up, and it's worth double the points. Tom Brady, you won the long-distance event, and you're in the lead with one event to go. Are you stepping up your game? Yeah, I think uh, this is kind of exciting. Last year I wasn't in this position, so um, I like where I'm at. I'm going to need a good last event, and finally the people get to see the real athletes, the receivers, come out here and run some routes. Rod and Jerry and... Um, Isaac Bruce and uh, Keenan. We're having a lot of fun out here. So as long as they don't drop any balls, I won't be too mad. So we're ready for the NFL game day 2004. No huddle. Boomer, take us through it. All right, Gus. Now it's the fastest time through the course that wins. But every incompletion is a five-second penalty. First, there's an out pass. Then a curl pass over the middle. Next is a post corner. And finally, a fade pass. Now, if the fade pass is caught inside the red square, it's an eight-second bonus. Jerry Porter is on the fade. Keenan McCardell has the most running to do with the post corner. Rod Smith is handling the curl. And the Rams' Isaac Bruce will run the out pass. The only other thing I'm thinking is maybe you just run down there and stop, and I wait and throw it to you. Whatever. If you hit that, get in the red, get eight seconds. The red. So up first, Jeff Garcia to run the no huddle. Three, two, go! <laughs> Isaac Bruce with the catch. Now go. Garcia. Now watch this. The key here is not to watch the ball be complete. Get to the next go. level and start throwing the football and try to. Get done with this as quickly as you possibly can. The post quarter complete to Keenan McCardell. Go! 
Porter looking. Garcia finding Jerry Porter in the corner. And he'll get the eight second bonus. Good growl. Way to make me look good on that one. I see that's a quarterback's take on how to be a politician. And, you know, playing with Terrell Owens out there in San Francisco, Jeff Garcia is probably the best at it in the league. Or maybe Dante yeah, Culpepper yeah, in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's receivers. Randy Moss. And they need to be spoon fed, but I'll tell you, they're never happy. Next, Jeff Blake, who's thrown for close to 20,000 yards in his career. Jeff, 20.73 seconds is what Jeff Garcia put on the board. Right. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So That's he set good. the bar. You got to go for yeah, it. Yeah, I got to go for that bar. You're faster than him. Remember, you can't have any incompletions, Gus. A five second Go. deduction. Or an add on, I should say. Ah. Ah. Oh, and you jinxed Jeff Blake. Oh, Thank you, know. you very much, sir. I, you know, you're the worst. I, I'm, I was hoping for him. I, you know, I want him to do well. Hey, he's a good friend of mine. Former teammate? Former Go. teammate at the Jets and at the Bengals. He was a, a rookie when I uh, came to the Jets. Close corner. Incomplete. And let me tell you something about Jeff Blake. He was in the meeting room 10 minutes before the meeting started. The coffee was there. The newspapers were there. He was a very good rookie player in that sense. <laughs> yeah, nice throw there to Jerry Porter. Look at Jerry Porter. Oh, man. I thought I was in shape. <laughs> I had to go run some more. <laughs> I'm you see a little gray hair there in Jeff Blake's head. Huh? Certainly do. All right, Jerry, you're showing us some fancy footwork in the bullseye every time. I mean, the Chris Berman said all Chris Carter does is score touchdowns. Well, uh, I mean, look. <laughs> is Jerry ready for me? He looks like he's flirting with Jill down there. Well, you know, he's <laughs> down here flirting, giving interviews. You know, he's a Raider. What do you expect? They're, those Raider guys, you know, they're, they're, they're soft. They're Even all, though you're they're all about the ladies. Oh, you could say that now that you're in the NFC West, I guess. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Isaac, yeah. let's do this. You got me? Let's do this. All right, cool. Well, you can see Matt Hasselback almost a 60% nope. completion percentage for his career. It's one of the reasons that Mike Holmgren liked him so much. Gosh. Oh, I don't Kill know. Him. It's like an incompletion to me. To go. <laughs> Where am I going? Smith cradling it. This is the toughest to throw for the guys. This is the post corner where the receiver comes in and then goes back out deep to the sideline. And you have to throw it while you're on the run. Oh, nice Great pass by Cardell. The go back sprinting, now looking for Porter. And now he's got to actually throw it to a Raider. <laughs> and he drops it. Of course, you see, I say he drops it. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true quarterback. Ten seconds in penalties against Hasselbeck. Yeah, I got it. You may be right there. Brad Johnson. Hey, Brad, is it fair that you get to throw the hardest ball to your receiver, Keenan McCardell? <laughs> well, I think we had a little time together. So, uh, actually, I don't think that's the hardest throw, to be quite honest with you. What do you think? Do you think the hardest throw is out down here to Jerry? I think you got two clutch throws. One is his first throw, the out, to kind of get you in rhythm. And then the last throw, because you have to have points in the red square. Yeah. Oh, look, he's cheating. He's actually That's warming cheating. up. Is that cheating? <laughs> he's a Super Bowl champion. He can do whatever he wants. Brad Johnson. Now, he was out here yesterday just practicing and practicing. He Go. was the one that actually figured out run as soon as you throw the football and uh, that's exactly what he's doing and Go. you could see his accuracy now let's take a look at this see if he throws it on the run and he will and again right it you know very easy this is not a very difficult event but you Go. just have to be accurate and get rid of the football soft touch Porter right in the red square how simple can it get not much simpler than that and take a look at the bonus he takes eight seconds off of his gross time and now is also checking his hey, pulse. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From one lefty to another, here's Mark Brunel. <laughs> look at this now. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. That one's sailing on him a bit. You know, he might be thinking about Byron Leftwich, who was drafted oh, by the Jaguars. Out of here. You're always causing trouble. <laughs> well, you know, that is zip trouble it. waiting zip, to happen. Zip, zip it. <laughs> we have one of the best quarterbacks in football, and you're going to bring in Byron Leftwich right now? Oh, what oh, a nice catch. That's, That's his old teammate. Yes. Go. 
Now in the corner. Oh! And oh. that one out of bounds. A little juiced up there, huh? A little too much. Your, your buddy over here, Keenan McCardell, made a great catch. They gave it to you. Oh, they did? Yes, they did. Take a look at this catch, Gus. And, you know, we have to award an MVP receiver. He receives a Tiffany watch. And you would think that Keenan McCardell is the odds-on favorite so far after two, these two catches. Yes, certainly is. Cardell with some acrobatic catches. All right, 19.85 seconds by none other than Brad Johnson. Did you learn anything from him? Completions, completions. I got that, it. That's exactly right. Don't turn it over. Completions, consistency, win, right? It's the key. Sounds like Mike Martz, doesn't it? <laughs> completions, yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to go on the horn? On the whistle. <laughs> so here we go. Mark Bolger to his teammate, Isaac Bruce. That's a gimme right there. Nice throw. I mean, he's got to pick it up. Go. You know, he needs to be a little bit less casual. Here's Rod Smith on the curl. How about a sense of urgency? Pick it up in a little bit, will you? Right. I'm going, I'm going. Trying to beat 19.85. <laughs> I mean, he's taking his time out there. He's a walk in the park. McCardell, he's throwing. a good throw. Yeah, nice throw right on the money. Come on, come on. Go, let's I'm go, ready. let's go. Here's Jerry. He's got a big smile on his face. Right in the red, right in the red. Good. Boy, he's got great touch, Bruno. Nice touch. <laughs> yeah, pick it up a little bit, a little casual there. I know, you know, you don't have Marshall Falk out here with you, but come on. Eating those Fritos over there. I don't want to go throw up. <laughs> 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 yeah, the third place, right, third place. Up now, Tom Brady. As you see there, Tom is the leader after three events. And again, it's all about completions. It's about running as soon as you let go of the football to the next station. And that's exactly what Tom Brady is doing. Go! Here's the post corner route. Brady throwing on the run. Complete. McCardell keeping both feet in bounds. McCardell doesn't drop anything, does he? He doesn't. Now Jerry Porter in the run. Nicely done by Tom Brady. Oh, why, hey, thank you. God, that was a good run, dog. Yeah, real good run. Woo! Keenan, I'm buying you dinner. <laughs> Keenan, I'm buying you dinner. The scoreboard for the NFL Game Day 2004 No Huddle shows Brad Johnson in the lead after one throw. But Tom Brady needs to come in just second in order to guarantee an overall victory. And for the second go-round, the receivers will flip-flop positions, and Porter and Smith are changing routes, as well as Bruce and McCardell as they alternate as well. Jeff Garcia, the out. It is caught by McCardell again. Now Porter running the curl. Nice toss. Garcia, close corner. To the Reverend Ike. Oh! <laughs> oh Jeff wasn't very happy about that. Wow. In the end zone is Rod Smith. Try getting that corner for you. I got the corner. Though. I got the corner. Jeff Blake up next. We're not going to pay attention to what Boomer's saying anymore. MVP, Super Bowl MVP. Are you kidding me? Here's Blake. The out is complete. Keenan McCardell is money. I don't care what you say. Yeah, he is the MVP for the receivers. Jerry Porter. Blake sprinting. <laughs> Jeff likes to stop and throw. Look at that ball. Well, that was a nice spot. That was the best throw of the, the two-day event here for Jeff Blake. <laughs> All right, way to go. You a little worn out? Yes. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's going to be nice and hot in Arizona when you get there. Oh, don't, don't mention that. Go. Let's see if he gets a few more completions here. I'll tell you, Akina McCardell does not Go. drop a pass. Oh. He's made some of the toughest catches today. And you see Hasselbeck getting a little bit uh, more accurate. Let's see if he throws this ball on the run or does he? No, he's going to throw man. it on the run. That's a good throw. No air in this ball. Looking in the corner. Right on the money for Rod Smith. With no air in the ball. Boomer, someone tried to sabotage me with this ball. It must Man, have been Brady. I can't believe you calling for an excuse before you threw hey. the football. Hey, Rod. Hey, Bruce. Let's see that. Uh, it's a good throw. Hey, Bruce. Let me see it. Got to throw it over here. <laughs> oh, no come on. It's all right. Come on, right? It's all right. It's all right. 
<laughs> Brad Johnson ready right now to run the no huddle. He's the leader after one round. Man, how about floating that ball out there? Huh? Throw the football. Actually, he had a great first time. And we've been talking throughout this particular event. It's about throwing Go. and running together so you can get to the next station as quickly as possible. It's very difficult for somebody to beat him in this event. In order for him to win the overall event, however, Go. somebody's going to have to knock Tom Brady down a notch or two. Once again, Ooh. a perfect strike to Rod Smith in the corner. Take a look at 18-23. He actually does beat his first time, so. The key here is, Mark, is the completion. Don't look at the completion. Just Brad, go. Yeah, Brad Johnson's throwing the ball and running. That's why his times are so He's good. He's a savvy vet, isn't he? Savvy. That's exactly savvy. right. Savvy. You're not supposed to do that. That's okay. I'm trying to help out. He's a lefty. He's, a, he's got to deal with a lot of baggage back in Jacksonville. I'm trying to help the guy out. As a matter of fact, if he does well, he knocks Tom Brady down, then maybe Brad Johnson wins this too. Could be a total sweep by Tampa Bay. Super Bowl quarterback challenge, receiving MVP, all of it. Tough throw for Brunel, the left-hander, throwing across his body. Heck, I did that earlier to win the event. You didn't look as good as he looks. Well, he's younger than I am. All right, you learned. You learned. Good job, Mark. Nice throws. Thank you. So Mark Brunel vaults into second Thanks, place man. in this event, just behind Brad Johnson. Oxygen. Brad, yeah. you might want to thank Mark Brunel for that because I believe that Tom Brady has to come in at least second to win overall the whole thing. I'm going to have to split it with Mark. Is you might have to. to say? You I'll might have to because right now you're going to buy him dinner. I'm that's it. Buy him dinner, man. I got to use all those gifts from my offensive linemen and receivers. And Very smart. Down there, so exactly. Take care of the people that take care of you. So you learn. See, yeah, and you should learn. You should be buying me a watch or a... We just met. <laughs> this is a one-day stand. Hey, take care of the people that take care of you. How about that nice Tiffany watch you won yesterday? Yeah, you got to watch Envy, don't you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I want one of those things. Oh, bad throw by Mark right. Boulder. So he'll be out of this. And really, I think you go back to Brad Johnson thanking Mark Brunel because Tom Brady's going to have to beat Mark Brunel, put up a pretty good score in order to win the overall event. And then winning the whole thing. So right now, Mark Brunel could be a hero in Brad Johnson's household. How about that? A Jaguar, Jacksonville Jaguar, nonetheless, helping out a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Johnson is the leader. Tom Brady wants to go right ahead of him and take home this. Tom Brady. Well, you know, you can see right there what he needs to win. So the first things first, get the completions. Oh, is it a completion? Ooh, yes, it's been ruled a completion. All right, so he's well on his way now. He's got to pick it up. I think he's going a little bit too slow, believe it or not. Throw a strike right here and run through it. Nice throw to Isaac Bruce, and now he's got a, he's not even running that fast, it doesn't look like. He's probably, I mean, I don't know, kind of taking it easy. He finds Rod Smith, so this will be close. It's not I enough. 18.87 is not enough. God dang it. Take a look at this as we split screen both athletes, and we'll see how they do it. And both very close to in incompletions on those first throws. And it looks like Brad Johnson's just a little bit quicker. He's throwing it and getting rid of it. Yes, he is. And, and you getting can see. up to the line, rather. Right. And, you know, he was the guy that told us, because he practiced uh, yesterday, that you got to throw and run immediately. And that's exactly what he's done. And that's why he won this event. So Brad Johnson wins the NFL Game Day 2004 No Huddle Competition, followed by Mark Brunel. And I think the key there is Mark Brunel, because ultimately he's the reason why Brad Johnson wins the overall competition, as you see right there. Barely beating Tom Brady. 989 Sports would like to congratulate this year's 2003 Quarterback Challenge champion. Congratulations. Here is your check, $65,000 to Brad Johnson, and he will also receive a Tiffany Mark round watch. And Keenan McCardell, you're our MVP receiver of the day, and you'll receive a stainless steel Tiffany watch, as well as Boomer Esiason for winning the Legends competition.